Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, hospitals are kind of weird. Bro, I, I'm so tired of hospitals, man. <laughs> Look, wait. No, I want you to get into the story, and then we can get into something I think that may be true. I don't know. I heard it on TikTok. Okay. I mean, that's fine. This story is interesting. So, there was a woman in California. She was 31 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, she was in the hospital. I'm not exactly what she was in the hospital for. But they, uh, her family went to go check on her, and she was gone. And the hospital told the family that she checked out against... Uh, against medical wishes or like whatever, right? Like where you can like just leave on your own accord, but you sign like a waiver being like, we're not responsible if like I leave that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, But like, so they had said that she had left and then she disappeared. Like the family couldn't find her. It said the, um, the family had started looking for this girl. Like she's been missing for it's months. Like they were trying to find her. She left, was never found. No. Oh. Uh, come to find out, she died in the hospital, and they shipped her body to a storage facility and just didn't tell the a family. Store, a storage facility is crazy. And then they said by a the time by the facility? time they found her, she was like unidentifiable. Like they had to use like DNA to like determine it was her. <laughs> but like so, they just shipped her out, <laughs> and so the family's like looking for a missing woman who'd been dead since she was in the hospital. Yo, fam, the airport loses your luggage. It's like, oh no, I'm having a bad day. They lose your freaking sister. It's and then they don't even over. tell you that she died. So they're like, no, nah, she left on her own accord. And then you think she's missing for like a year? Yeah, I mean, look, man, somebody's gonna lose their job. That's for damn sure. Something the hospital's getting sued, but you know. Public health care, they make enough. Think about all the damn like pain and anguish. Like, you know what I mean? Like, think about all the it's pain like, and anguish. Yeah, and like, because, yeah. like, it's hard to hear that your family member died. Yeah, yeah it's even yeah. harder to think they left and are missing for a year and you don't know where the hell they went. Yeah, absolutely, man. And, and then, then to find out they're dead anyway. Like, oh my God. They're dead dude. and their body's been in a storage. For I want to know more about the storage facility, man. It's, the only unfortunately, did not go into much detail about that. <laughs> the only storage facility I want for my dead body better be a god named cemetery. It's just storage room B down in the basement. There's not, it's not no. even like, it's not even like refrigerated or anything <laughs> no well we know that's not the case i pictured them having like a large like industrial warehouse where they just keep like cryogenic uh right, right next to walt disney's head oh okay is where so they there's kept the this... missing dead girl and walt disney's head in the same yeah building. Oh, missing okay. dead girl walt disney's head ripley from alien one um and goku yeah, all of that. Hyperbolic so, time chamber. What would you do if that happened to you, man? What do you mean, what would I do? Like, not happen to you, but, like, you're, they're all just like, oh, you're... If I died and they no, lost my body? No, not if you died. If, like, your family member, your family member died and they're just like, oh, they checked out. Bro, I'm going to freaking dance in the streets the same way as if I lost a loved one at Disney because I'm getting paid. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Like, look, man. Okay, so 100%, Jonas. I, 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 I'm a stoic. I don't know if you know this about me. They they already gone. There's nothing we can do at that time. Like I'm gonna be sad and all that good shit, but then I'm gonna be like, heck yeah, at least you hooked it up. Like I hope that when I go out, I hook it up for somebody. I hope that I when I pass away, I hope it's from like I die in my sleep, you know, and you can sue Sealy. Well, you could just get yourself a big fat life insurance policy and leave it to somebody, and but then when I you die, they get a check. I mean, yeah. But the check is even bigger if a multi-billion dollar company is at fault. I mean, you're not a wrong. A la hospital, a la Disney. Yeah. So I hope that if I pass away and when I pass away, that somebody gets a check off of that. Like that would be like that is the greatest parting gift that I can give to another person. Like I don't I don't understand like death is inevitable, so I have I have that outlook on it. Is that, that is an inevitability. It is memento mori. Remember you must die. Uh remember that you must love your life. Carpe diem sees today all that good shit. But when it comes down to it, death is inevitable. So it's fine. I just hope that when I go out somebody can get a check. 
If it was you, I hope that like I if I were to pass away and I were to pass away in this apartment, they'd be like, oh, look, your month, your rent's free for a month. Nah. <laughs> or we're going to pay for your rent for the year. That would be great. No, nah, they ain't going to do that. But no, what if I die from like a maintenance man coming in and like stabbing me to death? Do you think that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just saying. He just comes in to fix your bathroom. He decides to just murder you in your sleep. Yeah. Like, honestly, I would like while I'm rising up to heaven. And I'm looking down. If you're just you're like, like raining cash down at the <laughs> at the apartment building. If I can see like you in the courtroom, like, hey, kill my roommate. And I don't know how I can live in this apartment. Like, well, we'll pay for your rent for a couple months or a year. You know, you're good for it. And I years. just like dance and I'm like. And I'd be like, hey, I hooked the homie up. I mean, I feel you. I feel like honestly. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's not a bad way to, to do it, I guess. So I can only hope. Is that the family finds solace in knowing is that their loved one who lost their life in this hospital, whose body was misplaced. I hope that they find some solace knowing that their loved one was able to give them one last gift before they left. You right. Know? The right. gift of life on this planet and their presence is wonderful. But even in their death, they were able to give them financial security. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry I had to turn such a, a I mean, devastating, right, sad dude. story into something beautiful, but it's I, all good. I want to hear your TikTok thing. My TikTok? Oh, the TikTok thing, dude! I don't know. So on TikTok, I heard that that hospitals cannot like uh, cannot like freaking bill you um, for like certain procedures if you fall under the poverty line, which I think is like thirty five thousand dollars or whatever the hell. Okay. But either way, like, if you broke, man, just go to the hospital. Can you they just can't... tell them you don't have insurance? And then, like, then they're just, and they call and say, I can't pay it. And they're like, yeah. I mean, that works, too. But, I mean, it's the same, same idea. Like, if you're under a certain amount of money uh, per year or if you meet some criteria, um, then, like, you know. Yeah. Hospitals aren't charged. I don't know. I don't know that this works. And I would never suggest to do anything like this. No, look it up something first. something that I've heard is that if you go to the hospital and you have a bill, um, you just don't pay it until uh, they start calling you from their internal collections, and then you just like offer them way less money, and then they'll take it because nobody pays their hospital bill, so they're happy to take anything. <sighs> wow. So, so, so should we get into the whole idea of the American hospital system and the healthcare system? Because I mean, it's kind of effed. Uh, I mean, it's definitely effed. <laughs> it's definitely effed, man. I mean, I had I've had an issue I had an issue before where I was married where mm -hmm. like the bill came, it was ridiculous. My ex-wife called and was like, I need you to send me a detailed statement of like what what you did. And well, it was two different times. One time when she called and asked for it, they just cleared the bill. Yeah. And then the other time yep, they sent her the bill and there was all sorts of stuff that she was like, they didn't do this. They didn't do this. They didn't do this. They didn't. And then like, she just called them and said, y'all didn't do this. Like they was like, they charged her for like a, a bedside blood result. And they definitely didn't do it at, they didn't draw her blood at the thing or like, you know, so I feel like they inflate what it is anyway. I just heard a story about somebody being charged for an organ. And I think they passed away. A lady was charged for charged for an organ. Oh no no! It was a okay. I'm remembering the story. All right, Jonas, listen. So there was a guy. I saw this on it was uh, on Black Twitter. There was a guy who went to the hospital and he was having brain surgery, and they lost a piece of his skull. They lost a piece of his skull during surgery, and then when they were unable to find it, they put in a titanium plate to replace it. Oh. And then, guess what? They charge him for the plate. <laughs> they charged his ass for the plate. You lost my skull, and then you charged me for the titanium plate. You're right. It's insane. Insane, bro. That's some Disney level, just <laughs> like, in, what are you doing? Like, you thought you could get away with it, now you look crazy. Yeah. Stop that's... looking crazy out here, man. It's bad when money is more important than people. Uh huh. Ugh. Yeah, dude. It's wild. It's wild. The, the I don't. Yeah, we could talk about the medical system forever. So Bro, I'm glad you brought that story back to my front to my frontal cortex. Hey. So, anywho, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thechristown.com. Subscribe for Jonas. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah.